All right, we're taking a look at this sugar maple, also called a rock maple. It's middle of May, and it's got a little bit of leaf on it, but definitely that top is thinned out, mostly dead. And then there's some dead over here. So the question is, what's killing the top? Well, anytime the water can't make it from the roots up to the, to the tips, tippy-toppy leaves, you're going to have a problem here. And so oftentimes you can look for root damage, but in this case, We've got decay in process here. There's a few old wounds there, but this is the real culprit right here. That big old cavity, so it's clearly advanced, it's old. There's a lot of decay in there. Probably some mushrooms growing, fungus growing through there. And the tree, either an attempt to wall itself off, compartmentalize itself off, or just the fungus itself, doing enough damage to the cambium, to the xylem, that carries the fluid to the top of the tree. Enough of that's been restricted that this tree can no longer sustain those upper branches. So it's trying to do the best it can, but it's an oldie, and it's really at this point not really much of a way to revive a tree like this. So the fact that it's the swing set you know, is here, but no one's on the swing set. These kids all are all grown up now. And uh, there's really not a lot, a lot else going on in the house's way over here, so it's all leaning back towards the woods here. So it's not really much of a, an issue for hazards, but just as a good example to show how decay and or any type of compartmentalization of large wounds on the main trunk is going to stop the flow to the upper branches and therefore be the beginning of the end for a tree like this. All right, thanks for watching. Have a beautiful day.